<laughs> dude, I don't know oh, if I, cold on. dude, I don't know if I can do this. This is cold. We gotta go back and rethink this. <laughs> I can't fucking move. Oh. All right, I am back on trail. Today is the Angleworm Trail in the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness. Today I am with Pete behind me. He's registering us. <laughs> and uh, if, you haven't, if you've been following my videos, you would have saw Pete on the Rob Pelton's Hot Tent Hoedown last February, I believe it was, this last February. And uh, Pete was the one that didn't have a hot tent, had himself a hot hammock. So he was a little bit of a unique camper that night. But uh, beautiful colors out here. The trail is about, what is it, 12, 13 miles, something like that? 12 to 16. 12 to, to, to be determined, yeah. <laughs> yeah somewhere in there. <laughs> and uh, we're just gonna hike about a little bit of, maybe half of it today, and then do the other half maybe tomorrow morning, see how it goes. We're not in any kind of hurry. It's about 30 degrees out, so it's a little bit chilly, but it's supposed to get warmer as the day goes. So should be a good time. Check in when we get on trail. All right, we are at a water crossing with no bridge. As you can see, the bridge is out. And uh, Pete has been along here before this, this season, and he says uh, it's gonna be about knee deep. And there's a spot where it's almost waist deep that uh, we're gonna have to look out for and kind of step around. But this water is cold. It is roughly 30 degrees out here. And that water feels like it's 40 degrees. So we're taking shoes off, putting Crocs on. I think I'm actually taking pants off pulling up my under leggings and going for it like that. It's going to be cold, but it's got to be done. <laughs> oh, oh, it it's is. Cold. It is you definitely. We're not gonna pussyfoot around. No. Why it gets cold as shit. Oh, oh fuck. my god. Oh Jesus. Oh good lord. We gotta make sure oh. look at this. Or we're gonna get frozen. I know. Oh. oh Jesus, I'm already numb. <laughs> First three steps. Oops. Oh. Good lord. Oh yeah. Dude, I am ice cold. <laughs> I can't move my foot. Fuck. Dude, I don't oh, know if I can, hold on. Dude, I don't know if I can do this. This is cold. Wow, go we gotta go back and rethink this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fucking move. Oh. oh. All right, we went for that water crossing and it didn't work. It's sinking in way deep to where our crocs and everything are coming off our feet, and it has got to be like 30 degree water. It is freezing. I mean, four steps in, I was numb. I couldn't feel anything, and we were like not even 10 feet into it. So Pete's kind of over here scouting a, another route to see if we can find anything better. We gotta find something because that's just that way it's just not gonna happen. It's just it's just too cold. You get numb, you can't feel your legs, you're gonna fall in, it's it's no good. So we'll see what happens. Well, uh, there's where the bridge is supposed to be, and we just made it across finally, but uh, now we're changing.
right, we have stopped at the first campsite for a little snack and break just to take off my jacket too. It's getting warm now. It's getting to be probably 45 degrees out here after it was 30 when we started. Uh, so getting to be just a beautiful day. Look at that, not a cloud in the sky. Beautiful. And the fall colors are just gorgeous. Just can't beat this. So, but we're not gonna stay here. This is too early on trail, even though it is such a beautiful sight. <laughs> Um, so we still got a ways to go today. It's early, so, but beautiful, beautiful sight. to camp as you can see we have got a beautiful campsite this is whiskey jack lake a very uh coveted site <laughs> on the angleworm trail but hey there's a couple tent pads and pete's got a hammock so it works and uh here's the fire pit but we are gonna have a sunset right there behind us tonight and this place is pretty well known for its gorgeous sunset so all we can do is hope for the sun and everything to stay clear tonight and catch us a sunset tonight hopefully time to set up shop though
All right, we are making dinner and the sun is going down right in front of the lake there. So we're gonna get a beautiful sunset it looks like. Got everything set up behind us. Got the Nemo rocking right there. And next to that, Pete's got his superior gear hammock. So we are set and ready to be warm tonight. <laughs> but I will try to stay up late enough to get a nice video <laughs> of uh, the sunset. So it should get better than what it is right now. the night is coming to a close with our epic sunset this lake it doesn't even look real this looks like a Bob Ross painting so we got lucky with this campsite and the sunset and it was supposed to be 20 mile an hour winds today or tonight and it's definitely died down as you can see so beautiful beautiful night at camp it's getting a little chilly so we'll probably turn in early but had to share this beautiful sunset with everybody Gorgeous. We are back on trail early in the morning. Well, not too early, it's like 9.30. <laughs> but a uh, wonderful night of sleep. I was nice and warm. It got down to 32, I think, or 34, or something like that. So it got pretty chilly, but I was warm. I brought my zero degree sleeping bag. <laughs> but uh, lake was beautiful in the morning with all the fog. And then we get on trail and right away we see grouse right on trail staring at me let me get about 10 feet away that was kind of cool but uh not too far of a hike out in the morning maybe a couple hours a few hours at the most and uh some overlooks it sounds like and plenty more trail to, to film so check back in a little bit some old relics from the old loggers that used to be in this area this trail is an actual old fire tower tower trail and then later on logging had came in here but here's their fuel tanks and there's a fuel pump right there so pretty cool 
You can see the little lever or knob they had to turn to turn it on. Almost looks like a paint can or something right there. And then we got a big old barrel right there. So pretty old stuff, pretty cool. But uh, sounds empty, nothing in there. Cool stuff though. All right, we are uh, on our way out of trails, off the trail still. We got about an hour left-ish. <laughs> but we've already passed a few people on trail and we've already heard a couple people across the lake there on the campsite. So trail's pretty busy today on a Monday, but we're almost out of here. Beautiful view up here at this spot though. This is Pete's son chose this spot as called Five Minute Rock where you take a five minute break and it was perfect. So beautiful. <laughs> Our sketchy beaver crossing of the day yesterday the first part of the day yesterday and now we have to obviously cross to get back met up with a couple guys that we met on trail yesterday we were doing some hunting some grouse hunting seems like they had some pretty good luck too but Three, yeah i have to get on video what he's using to cross <laughs> cross this beaver dam this is genius he's got tie back bags on his legs that are in his shoes so we're gonna see how that's gonna go I'm just going for it. My feet are already wet from my bog earlier, so it is what it is. Check back in at the trailhead. We are back at the trailhead. We are all finished. Beautiful trail, beautiful, beautiful trail. And met some cool people on trail too. So uh, not too bad of a trailhead. Pretty, I don't know, what was there four or five cars here? A couple cars less than what there was when we were here yesterday. So definitely a beautiful trail. Next week is gonna be with a buddy of mine at uh, his first trip on the Superior Hiking Trail. So that should be a good one. Catch me on that next one.